The following is a class on the Bhagavad Gita as it is, fourth chapter, text number three, given by His Divine Grace, A.C. Bhaktivedanta Swami Prabhupada, recorded on March 23rd, 1974, in Bombay, India. Translation That very ancient science of the relationship with the Supreme is today told by me to you because you are my devotee as well as my friend. Therefore, you can understand the transcendental mystery of this science. Hmm. This is very important verse to understand Bhagavad Gita. Uh, by rascal interpretation, you cannot understand what is Bhagavad Gita. It is a mystery, rahasyam, mysterious. Only a devotee who is in intimate relation with Krishna, he can understand. That is clearly stated here. When Krishna was speaking, speaking Bhagavad Gita to Arjuna, it was in the battlefield. It is not a parlor discussing, smoking and discussing Vedanta philosophy. No. <clears throat> it is not like that. Very serious in the battlefield. And Krishna selected Arjuna. Krishna selected, at that time when Krishna was present, there were very, very great learned scholars even Vasudev was present there, the Vedabhyas, and many other. Asita Deva, of great, great saintly persons and saints, Rajarsis, uh, <coughs> Maharaj Yudhishthir was Rajarsi, because in the previous verse he says, Ebam parampara praptam imang rajarsayobhi. So why he selected uh, Ojo, he was a military man. He was not a Vedantist. A military man is not supposed to become a Vedantist, very great sannyasi. No, because the so-called Vedantists, they cannot understand Bhagavad Gita. It is not possible. Uh, it is a mystery. Uh, Krishna in other place he says, Nahang prakasa sarabhasya jyugumaya samabhita. I cannot be exposed to anyone. Jyugumaya samabhita. <coughs> Therefore, those are fools, rascals. They considered Krishna as fictitious, Krishna as a human being, Krishna as a historical person, or there was no Krishna, it is an imaginary writing. Ah. Because these rascals, they cannot understand. Unless Swan is a bona fide devote and intimately related with Krishna, one cannot understand. That is the purpose of this verse. One must become a devotee, first of all. Because you will find in the 18th chapter, Bhaktyamam Vijanati, Javanyaschami, Tattva. Tattata, in reality, what Krishna is, that can be understood through devotion and service. <coughs> this is what we are preaching all over the world, devotion and service. The Savanam Kirtanam Vishnu, Smaranam Padasayvanam, Archanam Bandhanam Dasam, Sakham Atmanibedanam. Iti pumsar pita vishnu bhakti sthet navalakhana tan manne adhita muttamam. This is the statement of Prahladma. These are the bhakti process. If one wants to become bhakta, then he must begin with sarvanam. Just like you have kindly come here to hear about Krishna. This is the beginning of bhakti. Unless you hear about the Supreme Person, 
that is Vedic process, Shruti. Shruti, Veda is known as Shruti. Shruti Smriti Puranadi, Panchanatriki Vidhing Bina, Oikantiki Harer Bhakti, Utpatai Bhakalpa. If one does not follow the principle, Vedic principle, Smriti, the Vedic corollaries, Smriti means literature which is written according to Vedic principle. That is called Smriti. And Shruti means the Vedas. Bhakta Shruta Grihitaya. Shruta Grihitaya. Shruta Grihitaya, there are two meanings. By hearing or through the Vedic literature. Through the Vedic literature, only Bhakti is. There are three kinds of departmental study in the Vedas. First thing is Sambandha. Sambandha means what is my relationship with God? This is stated there. In the Vedanta it says, Janmadasya Jata. The absolute truth is that from whom everything is generated. So everything amongst everything I am also. You are also. So you are also coming from that. Supreme absolute truth. Krishna says, Mamaivamsa Jiva Bhuta. All these living entities, Sarva Jonisha Kaunteya, in every species, any form of life. Ah, Sammavanti Mutta, as many forms are there. Not only human beings, the animals, the trees, the birds, the aquatics, the insects, everyone. All living entities. Krishna says, Ah, sarva jūni shukantiya sambhamanti mūrtaya In any species of life, as many forms are there, aham bija I am their original father. Bija seed-giving father. So as father uh, places the seeds within the umba of the mother, similarly the material nature is the mother and Krishna is the father. Uh, the Krishna uh, impregnates the material nature and we come out in different forms. Sridhaja, Udhvija and Jarayuja uh, and Andhaja. Sridhaja means by uh, perspiration, through perspiration, there are like bed bugs. Bed bugs, because if you keep your bed nasty, do not keep it uh, very clean, then by your perspiration there is generation of these bed bugs. They are called sedaja by perspiration. And uh, andaja, through the eggs, that's like the birds, the living entities coming through the eggs, that is called andaja. Sedaja, andaja, jarayuja, embryo, just like we are coming. From the embryo, andaja, jarayuja, and udhvija, coming from the seeds, the trees, plants. So within these four groups, all different living entities are coming. <coughs> so, the, by gradual evolution, we are coming to the human form of life. So in the human form of life, Yet there is a prerogative, there is a chance to know what is God and what is my relationship with. That is called sammandha vya. Sammandha avidya. Then uh, execution of the duty. Just like uh, sammandha, we can understand. An unmarried girl, an unmarried boy. There is first of all sammandha. The father and mother makes the relationship. Then there is function between husband and wife. That is called obhidhya. And why? Uh, because there is a necessity. What is that? To get children. Sambandha uh, obhidhya preja. Preja. Every sambandha, every relationship is made. Every action is done with the aim, the goal, the preja. 
जो वैदिक लिटरेचर में संबंध अविदय एंड प्रयोजन That is to be studied in the human form of life. Vedist sarvai aham eva vednam. To study Vedas means to understand what is my relation, what is Krishna, what I am, and what is my relationship, and how to act in that relationship, and what is the aim of life. The aim of life is to go back to home, back to God. That is the aim of life. We are. Fallen in this material condition of life, you are suffering, but you do not know. We are so poor, just like animal. <clears throat> We do not know what is the aim of life. Aim of life that is also described in the Bhagavad Gita: "Jarmamit jarabhadi dukho dushan darshanam." When we can understand that this process of repetition of birth, death, old age, and disease. This is not wanted by me. Nobody wants to die, but the death is forced upon him. He does not think that this is my problem. I do not want to die, but death is as sure as anything. So this is the problem. Nobody is careful how to solve this problem. Uh, they are simply engaged in the, uh, I am to say, temporary problem. The temporary problems are not problems. Real problem is how to stop death, how to stop birth, how to stop old age, and how to stop disease. That is it. <coughs> That can be done when you are liberated from this material world. This is our problem. So Krishna comes here again. Jada jada hi dharma sabkani bhavati Bharat. धर्मस्य ग्लानि ग्लानि मीन्स व्हेन इट इज डिस्टॉर्ट द पीपल आर मैन्युफैक्चरिंग इन द नेम ऑफ सो कॉल्ड रिलीजन दिस इज आवर रिलीजन दिस इज दिस इज हिंदू रिलीजन दिस इज मुस्लिम रिलीजन दिस इज ख्रिश्चन रिलीजन दिस इज बुद्ध रिलीजन और दिस इज सिख रिलीजन दिस दैट रिलीजन दैट रिलीजन दे आर मैन्युफैक्चर सो मेनी रिलीजन सो मेनी But real religion is dharmant shakshad bhagavat pranita. Religion means the codes and the laws given by the Lord, given by God. That is religion. Simple definition of religion is dharmant shakshad bhagavat pranita. Just like law is given by the state, by the government, you cannot manufacture law. Uh, I repeat it again. Law is made by the government. Similarly. Religion is made by God. Uh, if you accept God's religion, then that is religion. Uh, and what is God's religion? Uh, if you stand, you come stand here. Yeah, other people are saying <coughs> God's religion is. You'll find in the Bhagavad Gita, Sarva Dharma An Paritajya Mami Kam Saranam Bhaja. This is God's. Religion. You who give up. Uh, All this nonsense religion, uh, you become a devotee, a surrendered soul unto me. That is religion. Uh, one who does not know what is God, one who does not know how to surrender to Him, he is not religious. Uh, any religion without the conception of God, without knowledge of God, without knowing the surrendering process, that is called a uh, describe in the Simad Bhagavatam. As cheating religion, dharma prajita koitaba atra, the so-called religious system, which is cheating on that kind of religion, is completely thrown away, kicked out. Ah, because religion means to develop your dormant love for God, or to execute the laws of God. That is. The laws of God is that Krishna says, "Sarva dharma an paritta jamaami kang saranam." And how to achieve that? That also Krishna said, "Man mana bhavavan bhakta madhyaji magnamasuru." Four principles only. All is in company. Hare Krishna. If you chant Hare Krishna, then you remember in Krishna. Man mana 
Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna. This is the religion. <coughs> At least of this age. Hare Nama, Hare Nama, Hare Nama, Iva Kevala. Kalo, Nasteva, 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 Gati Ranaka. There is no other way. It's hard. Uh, then any, any, any scripture will find. Uh, Sabdhadana uh, vritti in the Vedanta Sutra. Sabda, simply by chanting, vibrating, you become liberated. <coughs> in the Srimad Bhagavan, Kītana Deva Krishna sa mukta samma param vrite kalau dosa nidhi rājana asti jīko mahāna guna. Uh, Sukadeva Goswami said, Maharaj, what kid? This age of Kali is full of faulty things. Uh, it is a ocean of faulty. But there is one profit, benefit. What is that? Kṛttanādeva Krishna mukta saṅga param If you chant the holy name of Krishna, then you become liberated and you are promoted to the spiritual world. Param brajet. That is our aim. The human form of life is meant for finishing all these problems. Janma mitta jarabhyadi. And go back to home, back to God. But people do not know, they are not educated. Where, what is God? What is God's place? Where to go back? What is my position? What is my reason? Nothing of these things are educated or given lessons in any university anywhere. Uh, but it is there, the Bhagavad Gita. Krishna is personally giving him instruction. Uh, Krishna is giving instruction to Arjuna. Arjuna does not mean that Arjuna is to take that lesson. Every one of us. Ah. And it is very old. Therefore Krishna says, don't manufacture new type of religion. What will do that? It is simply a waste of time. You cannot manufacture anything. Ah. But they are after modernized religion. What is this nonsense modernized religion? You are living entity, you are part and parcel of God. It is old relationship. <coughs> Purana, it is said Purana. Purana means very old. Najayate na priyate eva kadachi nitta sasatayang Purana. We have to accept that Purana. We are Purana, eternal. Na hannate hannavane sarire. We are not destroyed simply by destruction of this body. Ah. We remain. We accept another body. This is Bhagavad Gita. Nobody wants to know this. They manufacture their own commentary. Uh, that way you will never understand. You will understand as Krishna says. Saiva ayam puratana. The same thing. What is that same thing? That I am God. I am Krishna. You are my part and parcel. This is eternal relationship. Uh, it cannot be broken. Ah. But you have forgotten. You have forgotten your relationship with Krishna. You have made your relationship with your family, so-called family, so-called country, so-called society, and so on, so on, so on, so on. This is all temporary. Suppose I am Indian today. You are American tomorrow, today. But is there a guarantee after your death you will become American or I will become Indian? Or I'll take my birth in the same family. No. According to my karma, I may become cats and dogs. He may become demigods. He may become something else. But dehantara prat. Dehantara prami, you will have to accept another body. And there are at eight million four hundred thousand species of forms of body. Any of them you will have to accept. Prakita Kriyamarani Kunai Karmani Sarva. You are wasted your time as the family member or the, as a national or this or that. Uh, but there is no guarantee the next life will be same countryman or same family. No, there is no such guarantee. Dehantra uh, You will have to accept one body. And that body means any out of this, according to my karma. Karmana daivanatri na janto deha upapatti. So these are the instructions of the Shastras and this is very scientific and very important thing. But unfortunately you are not taking care of these things. We are very busy with the temporary problems. Uh, temporary problems are not problems. 
That is also stated in the Bhagavad Gita. Agama paina anitya tag titikhasya bharat. Matras parasas to kunti or sitosna sukhatu khada. Your temporary problems, so called happiness and distress, these are agama paina. They come and go. That is not very important. Just like the seasonal changes. Uh, the winter season comes and again goes. For the time being you may feel very cold, but it will go. Similarly, summer season also. It comes and goes. Any seasonal changes. We should not be disturbed with the seasonal changes of happiness and distress. We should be very serious about the problems of life. Janma Mitra Jarabadi. That is spiritual advancement. Unless we come to the serious point, unless you have become very intelligent, that ah, I do not want to die. Why death is there? This is intelligence. Ah. You may solve your temporary problem, but you cannot, by your so called materialistic activities, the problem of death. Nobody wants to die. Ah. Mrittu sarva harascha hum. Ah. Death will come. But if people have become so much unintelligent, they do not take up seriously the real problems. Just like animals. The animals is being taken to the slaughterhouse. Ah. Ah. One animal enters to the slaughterhouse store, livestock store. They all the animals enter. He does not know that this, I have to stay here for being killed. He does not know. This is animal. <clears throat> Similarly, if you do not take this problem seriously, you are no better than animal. However, you may be advanced for this bodily comfort. You are animal. Jashyatu buddhi kunapeti dhatute. Kunapeti dhatute. This bag of three elements, kapapitta vai. If I think that I am this body and the comfort of this body is my happiness, so I will go for it. You are no better than animal. This is animal conception of it. You must know that I am not this body. I am spirit soul. Uh, circumstantially I have been put into this body and again I will be put into another body. So what is the solution of this problem? That is Bhagavad Gita. That is Bhagavad Gita. If you understand fully what is Bhagavad Gita, what is the teachings of Bhagavad Gita, then these questions, these answers are there, you will find. <clears throat> Therefore, Krishna is saying, this is old. It is not new type of belief. Uh, it, is the, it is the oldest. Bhagavad Bhakti. Bhagavan is there and the living entities are there. Their relationship is there. Now, by forgetting God, forgetting Krishna, we are busy with the temporary problems, but you are forgetting the real problem. <coughs> Therefore, Krishna says, the bhaktos, uh, one has to become bhakto. Uh, the bhakto means Bhagavan, if there is Bhagavan, then there is bhakto and there is bhakti. Uh, but these people are denying the existence of bhak- Bhagavan. There is no God. The how he can become bhakto? Or how there will be execution of bhakti. Ah, bhakta bhagavan bhakti. The same thing. Bhakta is in relationship with Bhagavan. And the transaction between Bhagavan and Bhakta is called bhakti. Ah, bhakti means uh, anukullena krishna anusilanam anna vilasita sunnam jnana karma dana abritam anukullena krishna anusilanam bhakti yuttama this is the definition given by Rupa Krishna. Similarly, in Narada Pancharatra, the bhakti is defined. Sarvapadhi vinin maktam tatparatte na nirmalam rishikena rishikesa sevanam bhakti ricchati. These are the definition of bhakti. Uh, bhakti, without bhakti nobody can become bhakta. Uh, Bhakta means one who is executing bhakti. That is bhakta. And the uh, beneficiary, uh, the beneficiary is the bhagavan. 
So those who are engaged in this process of bhakti, Savanam Kirtana, Vishnu, Vishnu means Bhagavan, or Krishna. So Savanam Kirtana, you have to hear about Krishna. That is Savanam. And Kirtana, one has to chant. This is also Kirtana. I am speaking to you. This is also Kirtana. And you are hearing. This is Bhakti. Savanam Kirtana. About Krishna. The chanting, dancing about Krishna. This is Bhakti. Savanam Kirtana. Vishnu. Smaranam. And <coughs> remembering about Krishna. Manvana Bhavavad Bhakti. If you engage your mind. Savai Mana Krishna Pada Aravinda. We have to fix up our mind always to the lotus feet of Krishna. So if you do not <clears throat> accept this archan, this temple worship, how you can become always be engaged in the lotus feet of Krishna? Uh, these are the process. These are not sentiments. These are the scientific process. Uh, if you want, the, your business is to become bhakta, that is perfection. And because Arjuna was bhakta, therefore Krishna is speaking to him. So if you become, it is not monopolized by Arjuna. If you also become bhakta, Krishna will speak to you. Uh, now he says, where is God? Uh, where is God? Here is God. God is speaking. Uh, why don't you see God? Uh, God is speaking, you'll find. In the same chapter, if you cannot see God, if you cannot see Krishna in the temple, if you cannot see Krishna within Bhagavad Gita, then Krishna says, Rasoham Avsukam Teya, Parvasmi You see while you drink water or anything you drink, you can see Krishna there. Rasa, that taste is Krishna. So there is no difficulty to see God. These rascals, they said, where is God? Here is God. You are drinking water. <coughs> so, Krishna can be seen always, provided you want to see God. <coughs> but you don't want to see God. Uh, that is difficulty. Otherwise, you can see Sadaiva. <coughs> In the Brahma Sangita, it is said, Shanta Sadaiva Ridoyeshu Bilokayanti. Shanta. If you are Shanta, Shanta means saintly person. If you become saintly person, <coughs> but if you remain rogues, thieves, cats and dogs, then how you can see God? Uh, you have to become a Shanta. Uh, so you have to become santa. <laughs> if you remain always addicted to sinful activities, how you can see God? That is not possible. You have to give up this rascal sinful activities. Uh, what are the sinful activities? Illicit sex, meat eating, intoxication and gambling. That's all. You have to give up this. Jesavantagatam papam jananam punna karmana te dandamaha ninmukta. If you become leader, so called leader, rascal leader, and you are addicted to illicit sex and intoxication and meat eating, you must be sedated. If you are sinful, how you can lead person? Blind man is leading other men. Therefore, there is no solution. Why the world is in chaos? Because the leaders are all sinful. These are the sinful definitions. So, God's seeing is not very difficult. Provided you are purified, you are pure. Uh, so this Krishna consciousness movement is a purificatory process. We are opening the centers to give chance how to become purified, 
how to understand Krishna, then life is successful. Thank you very much.